Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Dude Man Bro, and I hope you all are having a fantastic day and weekend. Um, just want to say, before I start the video, thank you so much. Uh, I, I know I mentioned it a couple times in my last video, but we just passed 4K subscribers, and uh, the love and the amount of comments you guys have been sharing has been outrageous and amazing, honestly. I uh, cannot thank you enough. You know, we have some huge things on the in the horizon, and I'm working on a few other things. That's why this video is today instead of, you know, tomorrow normally. I'm trying to get on a better schedule where I get a uh, an extra video or two out each week. I've uh, been getting comments in my other videos that you guys want to see more videos from me. And uh, I'm trying to do that the best I can. And I think we are going to be seeing some amazing things in the future. 2021, I think we're going to absolutely kill it. So this is episode 11 of the 1K subscriber giveaway. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed yet, this is a great reason to subscribe you know it, this is my way of giving back to all you guys uh this is 1k subscriber giveaway where uh you guys pick the stocks that i invest in and i put a hundred dollars per month into a Weibo account and so i'm going to be doing this for a year and after one year is up i'm going to be giving the full account away to two lucky subscribers so if you want to win a you know a thousand dollars go ahead and hit that uh subscribe button and smash that like button and let me know that you guys love these videos but without further ado let's Let's jump into the video here. So our last subscriber giveaway pick was HYLN Helion. It is an EV play that I've covered in uh, multiple videos before. I was able to sell for a decent amount, and uh, yeah, I don't know if it's an omen or anything, but uh, the amount that we made on this is uh, six dollars and sixty-six cents. Uh, so hopefully that's not bad. Uh, but actually, too, at the very end of the day, we've seen a heck of a sell-off. So I don't know what that means, but uh, I'm glad that we were able to get our gains early and uh, we actually got out of this one at a positive note so without further ado let's bring up this week's pick I want to say thank you so much for AKWI. Uh, he suggested ASTC, uh, AstroTech, and um, I just want to say thank you so much. With, with that being said, please in this video, leave in the comments below what you want me to pick for next week. And if someone else has a uh, stock that you'd like to, go ahead and hit the like button on their comment. That's how I pick these. This uh, comment had six likes on it, so it was the stock that was picked. It makes it uh, have a better chance of, of your stock being picked if you like other people's comments too so but anyway let's jump into here uh, this actually we kind of a bad timing on this one they had an offering that they dropped that they wanted to do an at the market offering this is actually uh, about the third one they have announced since they have announced be coming out with a breathalyzer test for rona so that's kind of bad we kind of knew about this before though and i'll be bringing that up in the video a little bit later on but we knew that they needed an offering uh because something like this is huge and they're actually working on a few other things because this company has a couple different business sectors. A few things that I do want to touch on are um, it actually went below the 30 on the RSI line so we're representing that it's oversold. Um, that's pretty good news for a bounce back. We could see a red to green so that's kind of some good news and uh, I did see looking into the chart a little bit further it looks like the support is at about $1.74 so as long as we keep above that support I don't see us having any problems you know making a good amount of money this one has that potential it's went to about seven dollars before as long as we get that good PR that actually we're waiting for we could possibly see a very good increase and a very good profits on this stocks but anyway let me jump into a few different things so first thing I do want to say is they dabble in a few different things. They have a few different sectors that they go on. Uh, one of them is cannabis and hemp, uh, which they have. They are, are releasing a new product. They also do a chemical analyzers for the uh, airports, uh, military, NASA, and food. Like I said earlier, they're coming out with a pneumonia slash a pneumonia breath test. That is the different things. That's the positive thing I do want to say about this company. It's, it, they have their hand on a little bit of everything thing and they are working on a few uh, they have I believe three devices that they're actually having out right now that they're working on and um, they're seeing positive numbers uh, a few things I do want to touch on like I said they, they have released three offerings um, which normally is pretty bad uh, if it's for no reason uh, but if you looked into this stock earlier and I believe I have touched on this stock before if you looked at their balance sheet and everything you would have noticed that they had less than two million dollars cash available 
And when you're coming out with new products like this, especially Arona uh, breath test, um, you're going to need more than $2 million in cash just to be able to, you know, do the testing on it, um, to, you know, do the shipping and everything on it. So and that's something that you need to know to everybody that's out there that is um, trying to research stocks and is new to the stock market. If you see a uh, company that is low on cash and they are trying to bring out a new product, um, you should realize that there's probably an offering coming out or if they have an offering that they have just out in the uh, back you know back burner uh, they're probably going to drop that that new device or new product that they're coming out with so we kind of knew about that going into it so I do suggest that anyone that is want, wanting to invest in this company go to their website go into their investor uh, they have their earnings and reports and everything it's a lot of good information I don't want to make this video too long and go over every single thing there's finally starting to see revenue and profits this year and cash but that is most likely because of the offerings and everything so that's not necessarily that they're making more money uh, because it costs a lot more money to develop these uh, products that they're coming out with than actually you know, make money. So, so I do want to touch on this, which is their 2021 financial results and what they're coming out with. Um, I do want to say that they are they've raised 24.2 million dollars. They've increased sales on their uh, Tracer 1000, also their AG Lab 1000 uh, too, which is uh, for the hemp and cannabis industry. So that's two uh, products on two different sectors that they're doing and then plus also the Rona device also so I mean they're coming out with multiple products and this is definitely why they need offerings and they need money to be able to especially three big products um, that they're doing and releasing you know that's that's pretty common they they also a good news they surpassed 1 million in purchases for the Tracer 1000 that's good also it looks like strong market growth for that too and everything couple things I do want to bring out is, or I want to touch on also, is the commercial sales of the Tracer 1000 continued leading to 140000 in the first quarter of next year. That uh, And also additional purchases orders are still lingering around. Their S SG&A, which is their selling general and administration in expenses, has decreased 276000 which is 23%. That's pretty. That's really good. Uh, the research and development uh, expensive had decreased two hundred and forty six thousand, also or twenty eight point eight percent. So uh, they're decreasing their expenses, which is good. That kind of makes me feel better about the offering. Another thing, their monthly cash outlay has went down. 19.1% that they've reduced and then also the company has terminated its corporate office lease in uh, Texas uh, resent, resulting in $870,000 over the next three years. I think those are all positive things too. I want to say also that me researching this too, it looks like they don't have very much debt which is a very big thing too. Because they do need, you know, offerings to be dropped to come up with capital to be able to do all these things. But uh, it's really bad if a company has a lot of debt and they're still doing offerings and everything too and they're not paying any of that off. It makes me think that there's some very big things in Horizon for this stock. It's like we're definitely starting to be in a downtrend of the stock. But this could honestly bounce back anytime. Roughly me analyzing uh, the f financials and everything, it, it brings the stock is roughly uh, worth about $1.90 right now. And at dollar eighty four, I think is it's a it's a really good price uh, point to enter. But I would kind of wait to see within the next couple of days or whatnot to see where it goes because if it does break that dollar seventy four um, support, uh, we could keep on seeing a downtrend. Another good thing I would like to say about the stock is at its low even before it was the Rona test, it was sitting at about dollar eighty. So that's I think pretty decent. That means that I don't see this one dropping below a dollar eighty. You know that dollar seventy four dollar eighty point. I think that this kind of represents that um, that's a good support line and we uh, we shouldn't see much of a downside so I want to say on this one analyzing that the risk to reward I think where it's at under two dollars is a very good pick you might be risking four to ten cents but the upside on this where it's went seven dollars plus I think that I would definitely say if it's under a dollar ninety I would pick up no problem easy I think it's easy money holding for a little while because we are awaiting the news of the Rona uh, breath tester and everything they've actually partnered with Cleveland Clinic 
quick uh, to be able to provide that quicker and everything. So we should be seeing results from that soon, and that PR is going to be dropping, and I think that's going to be pushing this um, possibly 50 to 100%. So, But, yep, that's the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you like this pick. Go ahead and, like I said, leave in the comments below what you would like me to pick for the following week, and also just let me know how you're doing. Um, you know, I, I love to follow up with you guys and just, uh, you know, hear how your guys' lives are going. You know, I, I like to just talk to you guys and have this little, like, open uh, communication. So, but if you want, like to follow me on any social media, I, I have my Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon in the description below. I will also be putting in the description of the video my other 1K giveaway episodes if you'd like to check any of the ones that I've done in the past out. I don't know if, if, if I've mentioned this, but any stock that was picked in the past can still be in the future. So if you liked any uh, NNDM, GEVO, you know, any of those, even um, Helion, if you want me to pick any of those again, please leave it in the comments below and uh, make sure that you hit that like button on your comment uh, so I have a better chance of picking it. Uh, but anyway, if you'd like to check out any of the platforms that I use, I have my Weeble and my Robinhood links in the description below. If you sign up with any of those, use my referral link, you'll get a free stock and so will I. And uh, that really goes to help the channel out. All that money gets 100% back into the channel where I go and upgrade my camera, my microphone, and just make this um, content a little bit more tolerable so you guys can enjoy it a little bit more. But yep, so that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it a lot. Remember to be proud but never satisfied. You know, that's the that's the 2020, 2021, I think, motto that I'm going to be going with. You know, um, be proud of what you've done, but just remember that there's always improvement. You know, take what you've learned from the, your past trading and your past, you know, failures, because failures are good. You know, uh, if my failures have taught me a lot more, make sure that you are learning from your uh, failures. But anyway, you guys stay classy, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, yo.